This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is looking at the climate and biome graph, looking at the two axes, the two parameters that we kind of judge climate on in a basic way, and the resulting biomes and ecological environments that are created because of these two characteristics or parameters on climate, which is temperature and precip. So let's delve into what temperature actually is. So temperature is measured by the amount of collisions by the air molecules through the exaggerated energized state. When you add in energy or thermal energy into the molecule, it's going to collide with other molecules and release that energy, and therefore we call it temperature. So it is affected by the elevation, which is abiotic lapse rate, or the ELR, which is 10 degrees centigrade per every kilometer you increase in altitude. It's controlled by how close you are to the ocean, the season, the latitude, which again is season, and again, the concentration of solar energy, the long-term changes of tectonics, orogeny, and magnetic cycles, and also the relief or topography. But all this, these factors kind of contribute to the temperature of a location, whether it's hot or cold, based on these factors. And then you have the other axis characteristic or parameter, which is precipitation. Now, precipitation means any kind of moisture that is leaving the atmosphere and falling back to the surface of the earth through gravity. So the most common is rain, or you have sleet, snow, hail, mist, showers, based on duration of time, based on intensity, the size of the rain droplets. The temperature will link into this. So the amount of heat to evaporate the surface water on the ocean or the land, terrestrial water, is going to go back into the atmosphere as water vapor and how that condenses at a dew point and elapse rate at a certain speed to create clouds. The cloud formation process can change. The amount of albedo can also affect this and the wind, but you have this general amount of moisture coming back to the ground to supply the ground with water or moisture. So when you combine these two parameters, both temperature and precip, on the X and Y axes as shown here in the graph, and you have a continuum of high versus low on temperature and low versus high on precip, you get to develop or create different environments on the Earth's surface. So we're talking about the terrestrial surface here, the land masses above sea level. We're not talking about marine biomes, but looking at terrestrial biomes. And this can also include some fresh water on the land, but this is generally just going to be physical, ground, no water biomes. And you can get the different variations created, as you can see, a total of eight are shown here. And this is all due to a change in temperature and a change in precip. And these biomes that are created are kind of understood over a long period of time. This is a more consistent amount of temperature and precip. The fluctuations do occur, but they're more in the center of the graph, where the temperature can be high or low or medium, and the same with precip. But the more extremes of the graph, they're more very consistent. So it comes down to, again, the term climate, which is the average weather conditions over an extended period of time, at least over 30 years. So we can discuss this graph in different ways. We can start with the very warm, hot temperature environments and biomes, which is obviously the desert, hot desert, subtropical environments. Then we get the tropical or savanna forest. And then we also get the tropical rainforest. And then on terms of the temperature from high to low, we're looking at the desert being the warm temperature, the temperate desert grassland, and then obviously the cold desert and tundra, which is mostly the combination of ice and permafrost. And then we can look at the center of the graph, which is a mixture of both precip and temperature. And the three biomes will be the woodland temperate, the temperate seasonal forest, and finally the temperate rainforest. And we can also add in the extra two biomes, which is chaparral, and the tiger or boreal forest. So a biome is of a shared or common climate with the temperature and precip and various other factors, creating a certain or specific habitat or ecosystem 
which contains both biological, climatic, and landscape characteristics that are similar or shared with the flora and the fauna. So basically, you go into a certain biome, like a rainforest versus a desert, you expect to see certain flora, certain fauna, which are based on well, vegetation and animals, which is based on the physical, chemical, and biological processes that are consistent with that location, that area. It could be a very large area or it could be a small area based on the factors of temperature and precip, which we'll discuss earlier on the graph. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.